Good day, hello children, and welcome to our virtual school online gathering. And I'm glad that we are together worshiping God together. We praise the Lord who is the source of everything. Okay, guys, I encourage you and every one of you to join the joyful sing the Lord. Let us sing together.
Children, let us pray with me before we read our Bible story today, which is taken from Matthew chapter 21, verses 23 through 32. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, for today. Thank you that you help us to go through this whole week so we can meet our friends during this virtual online uh, Sunday school online service we ask for your help so that you can send the holy spirit so we have the strength we have the ability to know what the meaning of your word thank you jesus bless our service today from the beginning to the end we pray in the name of jesus christ our Lord and our Savior. Amen. A question about Jesus' authority. Jesus had gone into the temple and was teaching when the chief priests and the leaders of the people came up to him. They asked, What right do you have to do these things? Who gave you this authority? Jesus answered, I have just one question to ask you. If you answer it, I will tell you where I got the right to do these things. Who gave John the right to baptise? Was it God in heaven, or merely some human being? They thought it over and said to each other, well, We can't say that God gave John this right. Jesus will ask him why we didn't believe John. On the other hand... These people think that John was a prophet and we're afraid of what they might do to us. That's why we can't say that it was merely some human that gave John the right to baptise. So they told Jesus, uh, We don't know. Jesus said, Then I won't tell you who gave me the right to do what I do. Jesus said, I will tell you a story about a man who had two sons, then you can tell me what you think. The father went to the elder son and said, Go and work in the vineyard today. His son told him that he would not do it, but later he changed his mind and went. The man then told his younger son to go and work in the vineyard. The boy said he would, but he didn't go. Which one of the sons obeyed his father. Well, the elder one, the chief priests and leaders answered. Then Jesus told them, You can be sure that tax collectors and prostitutes will get into the kingdom of God before you ever will. When John the Baptist showed you how to do right, you would not believe him. But these evil people did believe. And even when you saw what they did, you still would not change your minds and believe. Welcome and welcome again. Now it's time for a story. Can you hear me? I hope so. Okay, children, today we are going to discuss about obedience or obey. Disobedience? Disobey. Oh well, well. Today our Bible story is taken from Matthew chapter 21 verses 23 through 32 and I would like to start with the story from the Bible. Well, that day, you know, in our Bible story today it says that the elders want to test Jesus. Hmm. But they find themselves being tested instead very serious so jesus oh well i would love to ask you a question who is jesus anyone can tell me i'm waiting okay i will tell you jesus is the son of god and he is the savior of the world see how powerful jesus is well that day, Jesus was in the temple in Jerusalem teaching when the Pharisees and the religious leaders came up to him. So, they challenged his authority 
and Jesus said, What do you think about this? And Jesus started telling them the story. A man with two sons. He came to his first son, the older son, and says to him, Son, go out and work in the vineyard. And the son answered, Ah, no, I won't. But later, he changed his mind and went anyway. Then, the father go to the second son and told to him, Son, go out and work in the vineyard. And the son replied, Yes, 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 sir. Yes, father, I will. But you know what? He didn't go. He didn't do what his father told him. So, Jesus then asked to the Pharisees and the religious leader, What do you think? Which death who obeyed his father? They started thinking. And they replied, the first one. And Jesus is kind of, okay, you are right. And Jesus explained to these religious leaders the meaning about the story. Jesus told them that who would get into the kingdom of God before they did. So, children, sometimes we did the same thing, right? We do not obey to our parents when our parents asking us to do, please finish your food or please do your homework. Some of us keep shouting, no, I don't want, you know. Yeah, we did the same thing like what the second child of the second children did to his father. I will show you this picture. You know, look at this picture. This guy here, you know, he got angry eyebrows going, right? See, the eyebrow. So, because he pretended like he was gonna do the right thing but he didn't do it you know can you see the caption don't just talk do it i will read it one more time don't just talk do it do not procrastinate you know well children now i will show you uh, the obedient side this one the obedient side can you see this one this guy you know is doing what he is supposed to look at his happy face you know of course when we obey we are happy right usually right well even though it's hard you know at at, at first it, 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 it is hard but Jesus teaches us today something very important, you know. His message today want to say to tell us that um, obey, you know, obey equal to action. Obey what you obey to your parents, obey to your teachers, you know. Obey. Do what you say. So, children, would you obey? I will, I'll tell you something that uh, if you obey, God has made incredible promise for those who obey. He will save us, watches us, you know, and He will take care of us and He will give to us 
our needs. Okay, children, thank you very much uh, for your attention and I hope that you will take care of yourself and please obey your parents and your teachers and uh, everybody. Thank you guys. I will see you next time. Children, now we come to our intercessory prayer. Please pray with me. Let us pray. Jesus, thank you that you have led our online our virtual Sunday school service today. We believe that through your Holy Spirit, we have the strength to worship you and to understand your word. Jesus, please help us to obey you so that we can obey our parents and those who come to us to show us the right paths or the right things to do. We believe that when we obey your word, we know that you will save us, watch over us, and you will send to us our needs. Now, we receive your promise. Thank you, Jesus. This is our faith that we surrender in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Thank you.